Hi! In the previous video, we have seen what the learning path for a front-end web development in 2020 would be. You got an overview of all the technologies a front-end web developer must master in 2020. In this video, I'm going to talk about the trends that will make you stand out as a front-end developer. You need to be familiar with them and you need to be using them to be the best. Let's get started. The first one is optional. It is a superset of JavaScript. It adds optional static typing to the language. And it is designed for the development of large applications. But you can at least check it out. But what you need to be familiar with is progressive web apps. A progressive web application takes advantage of the latest technologies. It combines the best of web and mobile apps. Think of it as a website built using the web technologies, but that acts and feels like an app. Internet connections can be bad or non-existent, which is why offline support is a plus. Offline support and reliable performance are common features in progressive web apps. Even in perfect wireless environments, smart use of caching and other storage techniques can improve the user experience. That is why progressive web apps can also work offline. Also, progressive web apps are many times real-time apps, no longer request-response type of apps. With caching and storage APIs available to service workers, progressive web apps can pre-cache parts of a web page. This way, app loads instantly the next time a user opens it. Caching allows developers to focus on speed. With this, web apps have the same instant loading as seen in native applications. So these are the web APIs used in progressive web apps to make this happen. Storage, web sockets, service workers, location, notification, device orientation, payments and credentials. To speed up and optimize your development process, you'll be using Chrome's DevTools. Lighthouse and Workbox will also be a big help. As a front-end web developer, you'll be calculating, measuring, and improving the performance of your websites. To improve speed and SEO results for your website, you'll want server-side rendering. If you're using React, then you can use Next.js for server-side rendering. With Angular, you will use Universal. And Nux.js is a tool to be used with Vue. There are great static site generators available these days. The most popular among them is Gatsby.js. Gatsby is more than a static site generator. It is a smart static site generator. Other possibilities are Jekyll and Hugo. You can watch my videos where I compare Jekyll with Gatsby and Gatsby with server-side rendering with Next.js. When you work with Gatsby, you will learn about GraphQL. GraphQL is a data query and manipulation tool that you can use with an API. It is a great alternative to RESTful APIs. GraphQL tries to reduce API complexities by arranging backend data in a graphical view. Then the client can query any fragment of this data, passing their query and get only what's required. Along the way, you will also be using Apollo Server. Apollo Server will connect GraphQL schema to an HTTP server in Node.js. By learning about server-side rendering, static site generators, and GraphQL, you will have a competitive advantage. One other specialization you could do is learning to do mobile applications. These days, you don't need to learn Java or Swift or Kotlin to do mobile solutions, although that is still a good option. The other way to go is to use cross-platform solutions that still enable you to develop native-looking apps. You could specialize in Dart and Flutter, or React Native, or Native Script, or Ionic. I would go with Dart and Flutter. With your front-end knowledge, you could also be developing desktop apps. Electron is a framework for creating desktop applications. It uses front-end technologies like JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. Then, get familiar with the term Jamstack. It is based on the client-side JavaScript, reusable APIs, and pre-built markup. It is not about specific technologies. It's just a new way of building websites and apps. 
apps that deliver better performance, higher security, and lower cost of deployment and IT operations. And while I'm talking about deployment, serverless architecture is also a trend. When I started, a programmer needed to know how to manage servers. Now you can have a server operations without actually needing a server. The lead providers of serverless architecture are of course Google's Cloud Functions, Amazon Lambda, and Azure Functions. And one more thing, do you want to create apps that used to work on desktop only because they were so complex? WebAssembly would be the way to go. WebAssembly is a new type of code that can be run in modern browsers. It was created to get a better performance on the web. It is a low binary format that has a smaller size, so it is fast to load and execute. It is the binary instructors generated from a higher level languages such as Go, C, C++, or Rust. It is faster than JavaScript. And it was already shipped in major browsers. Even if you don't master the advanced stuff like TypeScript, progressive web apps, server-side rendering, static site generators, GraphQL, you need to at least know what they are and when to use them. If you want, you can specialize in mobile development or desktop apps or even WebAssembly. I know all this might seem daunting if you are a beginner. What I would suggest is that you find a group of peers that you can work with. You can motivate each other. I know many of you already have jobs. You would be learning web development on the site. So going to a coding bootcamp near you is not an option. Also, it is quite costly. Taking an online course is a big risk. You might get help or you might not. Well, all the knowledge is in the internet indeed. But you need to find the right one for you. And when those little doubts appear, there is no one telling you can do it. And sometimes all we need is just someone to kick our butt and tell us we are capable. An alternative would be to find a mentor that is willing to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. You can find one in a local meetups. And maybe you have a friend that is already working as a web developer. In any case, make sure that he is competent and more important, that he or she can pass the knowledge you need. He should be able to explain all concepts in a super simple way. No need for fancy words or acting smart. Also, he should have time for you. A good mentor will take you to your goal way faster. If you cannot find one, you can reach out to me. I am doing online mentorship. I can give you more information in person. You can write to my email, that is jana at youcan-courses.com.